Bob going snake against uh, Kronos, who I believe is, is he second in Colorado, I believe. Not only second in Colorado, 69th of the PGRO rank. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't even know that. First we had uh, Rydra uh, coming from Colorado, now uh, Kronos to uh, avenge his Colorado brethren. But here we go. It's snake versus snake on PS2. Oh, we're going to see some projectiles, Arcti. There's a, there's a big difference between Kronos' style and Rob's style. I think they're button checking right now. So the, what I've seen is like Rob likes to play more with grenades, while Kronos it's more of a he's more of a boxing type of snake. Right. So so you, so you argue that like Kronos is more like a kind of conventional Smash Bros. player going in trying to uh, use arrow tools to advance, while Rob is more gonna play the defensive game, gonna try to um, push it out the character back more than forward and use those nu uh, nukes, use those grenades to his advantage. And we got a whole lot of explosions on our screen. And those uh, will not go away anytime soon, my friend. Right now, Rob with the advantage. Ooh. Having having this kind of player oh my gosh. from other from other regions coming to this to this kind of tournaments is crazy good. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's a pretty crazy stacked event. Odin's here. We got a lot of people here uh, mm -hmm. from Michigan. Those newly ranked power ranked players like uh, Hog and Suspect as well. Um, it's gonna be a really hot one here. So stay tuned. Uh, use your Twitch Prime if you want. Oh my god, try to put down for the forward air. Rob. Right now, Rob with a really good advantage. Uh, let's see. If there's one thing that Snake has that's like a big advantage of this character, it's mainly the, the way that he can maintain a big advantage. Just holding grenades, staying on the platform, or staying on shield, and just waiting for the opponent to hit you. That kind of trade when it's with a stock lead uh -oh. is going to give you any any kind of a yeah when yeah. your character like snake you can use that kind of like the old Ooh. brawl state mentality of like i can take trades because i'm heavier right and so exactly. when you have a chrono suit uh it's a little bit of a deficit but a few exchanges can change that rt so but right now on stadium um, having four grenades on pokemon stadium it's terrifying <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nowhere is safe <laughs> so much explosion oh, Ooh, oh. The sticky so much sticky remember that it, it can change it can change entirely the game right now yeah, the sticky the thing, is in Kronos. Yeah, and with the sticky, because uh, Kronos uses the uh, red skin, I mean, with the red uh, little uh, beeping uh, lights, so it's going to be hard to see if you have the uh, sticky or not, right? And so that... Uh, see, so he likes to uh, trade around, so we got to be careful. Try to go for the down smash, Ooh. he charged it. Wow! Completely oh changing the game plan here, Kronos. Great job. Um, get, finding himself in the driver's Ooh, that's seat. That's it. This is even last yeah. talk. The up tilt from Stank. Such a powerful maneuver. Uh, just kind of uh, puts that foot right into your mouth and makes you fly away right here. But uh, Snake and Snake letting the bombs do the talking. Uh, we're we are seeing a bro, big explosion, a big boom of snakes inside <laughs> of not only the Midwest, but also in the world. We have seen a Polokage, we oh, have yeah. AD still, and now we're seeing here in Winter Semis, Kronos versus Rob in a big regional here in Michigan. Yeah, I mean, I'm just a commentator to you, man, but like Snake, I feel like had always, it's always people always had like, well, M MVD, had this was Snake, and then like um, a few other people as well. But then like Snake would never like win or get like top eight. There used to be like, you know how it's like, um, now like there seems to be a Snake in every top eight, and it's Apollo Kage or it's so. MVD, or maybe right now here it's Kronos and Rob, right? So. Back air, up Ooh. air here from Rob trying to exchange. Get Snake. can go for Nikita. Here it is. And what's going to oh, happen? Oh. There's one thing about Snake. Like, when he lands, every single attack, every single oh, tilt no. kills. It's. Yeah. Ooh. Except for that one right there, but the up air, up tilt. Sometimes Snake uses those bombs right, and then he has to start going in and start uh, ground and pounding <laughs> the, the, the axe double up tilt. For the spot dodge to the F tilt. That was Tried that was it. the most snake thing I've seen all day. Yes. <laughs> now Kronos with a lead. 1-0. Fun matchup. Fun matchup? Fun matchup. I agree. I agree. Kronos <laughs> showing it as a fun matchup. I mean I don't play a lot of snake versus snake, but I could imagine. Um uh, thing about snake is that like you are dictated about like the bombs, right? How you are using your explosive to control the stage and then slowly kinda creep yourself in and pile on percentage, right? Uh, with, with this matchup, it's, they've both got the same game plan. They got one brain cell here, man. It's just snake versus snake. So sometimes it's uh, it's kind of like playing with uh, stage hazards almost here. There's one thing that I want to point out. Yeah. Like the style of Rob, it's also like representative of its own name. TM64 in Pokemon. If you didn't know, it's explosion. It's, oh, I see. While fly high, it's like mostly what Colonel likes to do. Tries to set up with an up B, with a good up B. Try to box you. That's the whole thing. And right now, seeing this second game all again in PS2. Yeah, hey, staking with Stadium. I mean, like, it probably is 
pretty good here for the competitors. And now I see uh, um, Kronos switching to the green skin. Maybe uh, wanted to change with the uh, the red sticky uh, bomb, perhaps. I'm even not sure. Uh, but we're here. Nikita coming out. I always have one rule every time I play a snake. It doesn't matter who it is. I never take snake to duplats. And it's because of this kind of stuff. Yeah, because you can, like, uh, like, um, I. You can use the platform as a shield that never goes away, so you can cover your basically cover your your head like at all times. I mean, snake's not usually gonna be like trying to fall on top of your shield with like a down air or something, right? But still, uh, when you are a projectile character yourself trying to throw projectiles at your opponent, now they kind of have just like a little barrier to protect also, yourself. Too, the so. mix-ups with the platforms are. Big. Oh yeah, like that right there, uh, using the <laughs> sticky. So mixing up right as we were saying it. Mm. Oh, but now he's got the uh, sticky on him. Oop! <gasps> could, could use the. X handle right there, trying to get him off of the stage with the Nikita, Nikita, and he does! Nikita takes the first stock of Kronos. Even though Rob's still in the deficit right now in the corner, and this is a bad position against Snake. It doesn't matter who you are. There's so much going on. Mm -hmm. I can take it. Like, if I if I could commentate every single explosion, I would do it. Yeah, boom, right, right there. So, bomb here. Yeah. Right now, we're going to see a setup? A down smash there. Just trying to see if he can uh, uh, tap the uh, Cypher. Not gonna land it though. Going high to avoid the up, or the uh, aerial. Rob using the Cypher perfectly to just cover that option and disadvantage. Oh yeah, Snake. Lots of Snakes. Loved going with that high recovery, but rolling right into the up tilt was Kronos. But now... Back here. Like, just like that. See, man, there's so Did much going on. Did you see that? Back here, be back here beating Dash Attack. Dash Attack being invincible, wow. at least on the, yeah. on the arms. I don't know what happened there, but I think there's a certain kind of like priority in that back air. Yeah, something silly. The back air, I mean, the snake back air is, is, I mean, it's real nice, real strong. Snake man, it's just, he's just a big dude. Bomb, catching with the C4. Uh, Rob, he's trying to turn the burners on here. Um, if he wants to win this match, but Ooh. just like that, that is exactly what he needed. Pairing the grenade into the up air, or oh my god, up, up tilt, up yeah. tilt. <laughs> Having this kind oh of my gosh, he's right cooking. Now. This dittos, especially in top eight, they're so high. Yeah, and now he got a, uh, another, get another um, jump up C4, Ooh. but he didn't know he had it, and he... Maybe he did. Maybe it just happens. That nair was, that nair was, was like, not unnecessary, but it was something that... Didn't work out. Yeah, a really. defused decision from, from part of Rob. Still, 2 over Kronos. Kronos winning the set and going again to PS2. Not, no, there's no mix-up from Rob's part. You know... Um, PS2, it's the it's the homie stage, it's the stage y'all, the tried and true PS2, right? So, uh, gonna go, stick with his guns here. Uh, not familiar with Rob's, like, most favorite stages in this match up, but I know he plays uh, Brandon Gordon in movement quite a bit, um, when he was out here. So maybe they're a PS2 kind of guy. Talking here about we go, that. back at stadium. The Snake is one of, like, the, one of the characters that many Michigan players are, like, familiar with. Oh, yeah, I mean, when you talk about, like, Michigan, you always think of it being the zoner region. Ooh, with all the zoners, <laughs> and right now, to be fair, uh, we do got two zoners on our screen, so maybe they're going to be something, right? So, um... Ooh, I don't know. There's one thing that always annoyed me about Snake, and it's the the way that... You saw that. No, <laughs> it wasn't <Yeah>. that <laughs> It's got The way that Cypher can actually, like, turn out a disadvantage, even though you're trying to cover, like, normal getup. One oh, yeah. Five of Kronos. That was a nice compare. Kronos going way downtown with the back air, but a back air from Rob, too. He saw that, and he's like, ooh, I'm going to steal that myself. Mm -hmm. That's one of the cool things about Ditto's men, is that you can see your opponent do something, and then you can do that exact same thing. And so that's exactly what we saw right there. Good job there from Rob. Going way up with the Nikki or uh, the Cypher was Kronos trying to catch him with something, but now Rob's gonna go back to the stage here. Rob trying to set up 21% of that down there. That was 32%. Cute. <gasps> 51! Oh my god. One with the madman. But gonna try and see if he can get to the percent. Yep, yeah, 160. Exactly. That's an easy up tilt every time. Mm -hmm. That confirm is just reliable. It's the most reliable thing oh, yeah. this snake has. Literally 100 if you if you do not, it's it's impossible to mess up it unless you do, right? But like mm -hmm. Because it's a 100% guarantee. I wish Donkey Kong had something like that. Hold on here. <laughs> Donkey Kong? <laughs> it kind of does. But I don't see it can't uh, I don't think Donkey Kong needs something to kill. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, but going, but going Rob, again. Going with that. It's, no, it's, it's such a. He's going for Nikita again? Oh, oh, oh. That was great. Got him. 130 on Kronos. Wow. What going this? for that down air. What crazy a crazy decision. That was a crazy Clean. option. Rob. Rob with a massive lead, a, one stock. A very good lead, turning the burners on exactly when he needed them to do it. 21% of the C4. Wait, I just realized something, RP. This is winner semis. This is winner semis. Rob is a winner semis. That's awesome. It is. 
Rob, if you remember Rob's first like big like explosion tournament, it was um, it was Rodeo if I'm not yes. wrong. Third, like almost getting getting game five. Yeah, no with Owen, I believe. I know he went game five with Owen at, at some point there as well. Ooh. Flying away, but staying on the stage. But the parry oh, no, into the up tilt. tilt. Yeah, you do gotta love it, man. If Tried and true. If there's one thing Snake has also, it's their counter. Like the way he can actually like close close out the match. Oh my god, it's very big. 110 percent. That was crazy. 130. This is a good. Yeah, when, when Snake and the team. We got him. <laughs> Rob taking the first game, game three of Kronos. Yep, two one here. Mm -hmm. A three. Uh, the the first the first step to a reverse three zero is the third game winning. Came with the third game. That's true. It, it doesn't. Sometimes you got you gotta keep digging deep, right? And hey, he didn't need to go to a funky stage. He didn't need to switch to zero to Samus. He just needed to play a little. A little smart, a little better. Do a little more of them snake things, right? So, right now, a good job there from Rob. It's two one. Let's see what the stage is. I don't know if changing characters was like, it's like a good a, a good option right well, now. Oh yeah, he didn't need it. Yep, you just ah, keep, you just have stadium. to keep going on your main. You have to you have to trust sometimes unless the matchup is unwinnable. Trust your gut. Exactly. Trust your tried and true. But brought him here into top eight. Winner side is yeah. that snake, and that snake is what is going to bring him that game three win. So let's see here, uh, mm -hmm. RT. Maybe maybe game four win comes his way too. So now comes Rob. Starting as ever, two grenades. There's one thing that Rob does that I like a lot. It's he positions himself between two grenades. Yep, absolutely. That's like a that's I don't know if that's like kind of a fortress, but like you really can't do much about it. A bit of a dungeon of doom. Yeah, I mean, hey, uh oh, uh, Kronos turning the burners on here, catching now him in his problem. air dodge. We're gonna go, homie. Ooh. Right on top of his big boot. Gotta be careful. Back row. The capacity of Kronos of just changing the changing the pace of the match, it's crazy. That's yeah. why he has wins over Meister. He 3 0 Meister. He has played though. He wow. has beat Onin. No, Onin now. Um Tweak. Tweak, yeah. He's a great he's a great player. Top PGR old rank. Yeah, what, one right of now, the best beating. players in the wow. goddamn world right here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see if he can take this game. Four, and it's you know, you know, man, it's been pretty uh, on one side, at least for the first uh, minute of this game. But so uh, I feel it's it's Snake. It's, snake it is, is snake. the is the kind of character that can S close snake out leads and create snake. that damage output was crazy from yeah. 30 to 73 in one conversion. That was nice. Get a little bit extra da bonus damage with that. Uh oh. Uh, that, that's dash attack. The thing about Snake Man is that when you have four grenades on the stage and it's all about positioning, mm -hmm. sometimes you're literally just gonna get hit by all four of those grenades, right? So, but uh, Rob gonna get caught by his own grenade there in his hand. Watch out, bro! Back throw. Going for the back throw instead of the up tilt. And the key. Still, that could be <gasps> it. That's it. I don't got the patience for that, man. I would have just, I would just press Z and moved on with my life. But he, he held that and got the kill that he Ooh, needed. But falling 140. Right. That kill. The up tilt from Kronos paying dividends here, man. I don't know why. I feel like we're seeing Mr. Untouchable here. <laughs> Mr. Untouchable? <laughs> well, we miss it, man. There are a lot of grenades on screen. Um, there are. Ooh, like, there's, a lot one, of there's another thing about Kronos. He just, like, makes you think about, like, so much stuff at the same time that you don't remember where Nikita is. No, where C4 is. Yeah, that's the thing about Snake. Snake plays that kind of distraction game plan. Look at that. Where it's like, I've got, you have to deal with literally, like, seven projectiles at a time because mm -hmm. you got your two grenades down as well, right? So, and you have your C4. So, so, ooh. That was cute. All right. Let's see here where Rob's going to be cooking something up with the parry up tilt again. Only you see them, you see them hit grenades. Only 95%. Yeah. Snake's a heavy dude, but, I mean, Snake also kills 50% up one uh -oh. down tilt. Alright, here we go. This is the make or break position here for Rob. He still has. Remember that mix up he did to against Scratch. He just stopped smash until he rolled. <gasps> and that's ah, it. See? Talking about the C4. Yep, you gotta remember where it is. And Kronos so. finding himself in winner's finals. Rob going to loser's quarters, still, I think, waiting for an opponent. 